Hey guys, I have a little grocery haul for you today from Aldi. I got some unusual things that I thought I would share with you. So I'm just going to quickly give you the highlights of things I picked up. Hey, this is not my whole haul, just a few things I thought you might find interesting. So first of all, I got two boxes of pumpkin spice Cheerios. One of my Aldi rules is I never buy name brand items at Aldi. Broke my rule for pumpkin spice Cheerios. I cannot find these at my grocery store. They are not carrying them and they were $2.50 a box. So I went ahead and Grab two because they were seasonal and then along the same seasonal lines I found these peanut butter chips and they don't usually have these they were marked as a seasonal item they were $1.50 a bag which is great so hopefully they're good I'm going to use them for my homemade granola bars and then also just some baking as well I've been buying these flatbreads the last couple weeks my husband really likes these and we have them like with wraps or even like as grilled wraps they're really good so and they're only 90 calories per wrap, which is really good. They're 229 uh, package. There's six wraps in there. This was on uh, Markdown, and so I thought I would try these for something different. I got mushroom ravioli and the ricotta and spinach ravioli. This is not frozen. This is like shelf-stable ravioli, and they were $1.50 each. And they're not very big packages. They're 8.8 .8 ounces per package, but still, I thought it'd be kind of fun to try. And then I picked up some shredded cheese, and I only wanted to mention this to tell you it was $1.45 a bag, which is really good for three cups of cheese. That's a really great deal. I don't really like their shredded cheese. It doesn't melt very well, but that was such a good deal, and I am out of shredded cheese, and it is not on sale at my grocery store this week. So it was worth it to me to get just one bag for, like, tacos and stuff like that because we have to have shredded cheese on hand. And then I got some this Italian turkey sausage. I wanted to also mention that I've been buying this as well. It was $3.69 for um, 1.25 pounds. Their measurements are kind of funny sometimes. They're a little bit odd. They don't always compare to other prices at grocery stores. But this is really good. And I, I used to not buy meat at Aldi. I know a lot of people still kind of feel weird buying meat there. But really, it's fine. Their meat is much better than it used to be even a couple years ago. So I really like this. And there's a lot of meat in there for less than $4. And this is also a new purchase. I got a package of... Um, pie crust. This was $1.45, I think, which is really great. There's two crusts in there. My husband does not care about pie crust. I can go to like major trouble making it from scratch and he'll probably leave most of the crust on his plate. And I'm going to make a little mini pum pumpkin pies that I saw on Baking with Josh. I'll link that video for you. It's super cute, featuring one of my favorite stars from the office. So I'm going to try the little mini pumpkin pies that they made. So I'm just going to use these pie crusts because I think it'll be a little bit easier. So here are a few things I just got at Aldi recently. I do have a full haul that I filmed for you from last week. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that here at the end of this video so you can see everything I bought in my grocery haul last week at Aldi. But for today, here are just a few fun things. So here's my other haul from last week. Hey everyone, I have an Aldi haul for you. This is $36 of groceries. I did not organize these by price because I'm in a hurry to get these put away, so I'm just gonna have to go through and show you what I got, just, you know, randomly. So I've got eggs, these little cucumbers, the little snacking cucumbers, I think they call them. We love them. They're like really, really crunchy and good. Got some Roma tomatoes. This is my favorite hummus that they sell, the red pepper hummus. It's really good. Um, mushrooms, these were 99 cents. I got some block cheddar cheese and some sliced mozzarella. Tomato sauce, I got olive oil and Parmesan cheese. Then I got some green onions, they were 99 cents. I got frozen corn, I got frozen mixed fruit. This is strawberries, pineapple, mango, and peaches, which is great for smoothies. And since we're past the fresh strawberry sale season, I had to get the frozen, which is fine. It was like $1.09, I think, for that bag. Really not bad at all. Or two oh nine, I think it might have been two oh nine. And then I got three pounds of Fuji apples. They were four dollars, but I have already had one in the car, and they are delicious, worth every penny. I got a box of spring mix. I really like this spring mix. And a little tip that I learned from somebody else. I think Shelly's Home Life. I think is where I learned that. When I opened this container, I put a paper towel just on the inside, right underneath the lid, on top of the lettuce, and it sucks up all the moisture. Maybe I should say absorbs the moisture. Sucks up sounds kind of gross. It absorbs the moisture and makes the lettuce last a lot longer. All the L's in that sentence. <laughs> the crunchy granola raisin brand that I love. And then this is a new purchase. This Clancy's version of the delightful popcorn. Isn't that packaging just like um, 
Skinny Pop looks just like it. So we'll see if it tastes the same. I'm doubtful, but we'll see. It was $1.29, which is cheaper than I could ever get Skinny Pop. So I was willing to try it. I got a half a gallon of whole milk. And then I got these chicken tenderloins. I really like these as well. It's the same as the frozen chicken tenderloins I get at my grocery store. It's a little bit cheaper. And it's great for like chicken for salads or anything. It's really good. It's a great deal. It's like $5 for this big bag. Um, two and a half pounds. So good deal. So there's my haul from Aldi. I have a new post on my blog this week that is featuring a lot of the household items that I have purchased recently at Aldi that I'm loving. So if you want to check that out, I will link it down below. It's a blog post. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to know if you've tried this delightful popcorn or anything else that you see here. If you would like to tell me what you think of it or if there's a new thing you've tried at Aldi that was good that I should try, let me know. Thumbelou, do you want to say anything to the camera? No. Such a cat. All right, well, that's my Aldi haul. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.